Okay, so I think this is maybe the best that we can get when it comes to lighting. Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Anna and I live in Gothenburg in Sweden. I have this YouTube channel where I talk about books and crafts and that's why it's called Bookcraft. Okay, so today I thought that I might do a video on how to read while you are knitting because this is something that I do regularly and I have talked about it on social media and people have asked how I do it so I thought that maybe it's just easier to show you how I'm able to read while knitting and knitting is actually quite kind of the only craft that, the, that I can do I think everybody that you can do while reading something physically like a book you can listen to audiobooks while you do all sorts of crafts so that's great if you don't want to if you don't want to read and do something at the same time um, you can listen to audiobooks that's nice but I thought that I might show you how I uh, read on a Kindle which I usually do when I'm knitting uh, but also what I'm how I'm able to read like a big book and also these kinds of books because I read them quite a lot this is a book about dragons actually so yeah uh, but I thought that this might be a nice video to to make it's kind of a tutorial ish video how to read while you're knitting okay so I'm gonna start with the, the easiest one and, and the easiest one is by far reading on an e-reader this is a Kindle um, and it's I had it for maybe eight years now and it's still great it has like one I'm gonna see if I can show you uh, I love my Kindle and it's very good but I have like a little dot there where it's damaged I don't know if you can see that but yeah I'm not gonna change it because I have that dot there so I don't know why I showed you that um, but I thought that we might start with them um, with the e-reader because it is as I said by far the easiest way to read while you are doing something else and in this case knitting uh, and when it comes to the the knitting itself I always I rarely knit and read at the same time when it's like a a complicated pattern I can do like ribbing it takes more time to read when I'm doing ribbing the best thing is to have like a stockinette stitch in the round kind of situation. I have that now uh, where I'm just knitting in the round stockinette stitch with one color um, just round and round and round for this sweater. So it's really good for like sweaters and sleeves and you know the foot of the sock or you know the leg of the sock. Yeah, anything that it's just straight you just knit which is great so um, I have a few different places where I usually sit when I read in my apartment uh, it's here by the kitchen table which is maybe weird for some people but I, I don't have um, I have a, I sit here sometimes as well not in the sofa that's not where I read uh, I usually read on the bus and at work um, yeah, but I, when I'm home, I'm usually in the this <laughs> uh, or here at my table or in bed. So I'm gonna show you how I do it by the kitchen and in the um, what do you call this? Fotel in the chair. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna set you up so you can see me a bit better. Okay, so the lighting isn't the best because the light is behind me, but won't think about that right now you can stand there yes okay so when I'm sitting at my kitchen table I have this um, I usually no I always sit here in this in this chair uh, and then I have my e-reader here I usually prop it up so I have it like not flat because that's not good for your eyes I think 
um, and I have my knitting in my lap and then I have my e-reader here so I can really easily you know sit in a comfortable position where I don't uh, sack too much because that hurts my back um, but I usually sit and do that like this and then when I'm changing the page I just tap it and that is actually the best way to to knit and read at the same time but when if you don't have the the book on your Kindle or e-reader and you want to read something like this instead and this isn't the best for like concentration because you have your phone you can use whatever you want obviously but I usually use my phone because it's heavy and you know it's yeah it's good too I usually do this where I put the phone on uh, on the page where I'm not reading or like in the middle and then I read from here and sometimes I prop it up as well so sometimes I will do like this maybe to be a bit more comfortable and then I can sit in it here and read and then I just change the page when I need to and it takes a little bit of toll on the books because you have to like press it down firmly and then I do like this. So this is how I usually read these kinds of books. And the last book is this hefty one. Um, it's really big and kind of, you know, it's very thick uh, and it's not easy to, you know, prop up open. Um, I actually do kind of the same thing. I I should say that I'm not very careful with my books when it's, you know, this is a glued one. It's not even um, like sewn together, so it's not that good quality. Uh, and I do like this. Um, and then when I need to read here, I just put the phone in another spot so I can see the text. And then I do like this, and then I read and knit, da, 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 da. and then I change the page, and I do it like this. Yeah, that is how I do it usually uh, with these kinds of books. And I would say that this is the most common way for me to to read and knit. Sometimes I sit in my bed and do it, but but then I like prop it up on pillows and stuff. But that isn't that often. Usually when I go to sleep and want to read a bit before, I just bring my book and um, yeah, sit or lie in the bed and read until I fall asleep, which is usually like 10 pages or something because I get really sleepy um, very quickly when I go to bed in the evening. That is how I read sitting at my kitchen table and now I'm gonna show you how I do when I sit in the chair over there. Oh I really match. I'm gonna forget forget that. That's not good. Okay, so this is a, a really I'm really matching. It's like I am the chair. Yeah. However, this is a really cozy spot in our apartment, I think, and it's it's nice that you sit like in the bookshelf almost. Do you see all these books <laughs> up here? I really have to clean. So this is a really comfortable place to sit, uh, and I really enjoy this chair and this view. I have a beautiful view. I can show you. So I see all our flowers and our plants and I see right now the sun is setting so it's really beautiful outside. So when I'm sitting here and reading anything, I, if I have my Kindle, once again it's really easy. I usually put it on my leg uh, here, like you can see this, yes, um, and then I knit and I can change page 
whenever I want. If you really want to like start reading when you're knitting or just have a really accessible and easy way to read on the tram and, and take books on your travels and you know it's nice to have an e-reader and I'm all about the books in physical form because I love the books but I don't want all the books in my bookshelf uh, or I don't care about having all the books in my bookshelf I should say uh, okay so the next format is this big one and this is actually kind of like the same as when I was sitting in the at the kitchen table and this is kind of the same it's not as comfortable or as you know smooth or <laughs> nice to sit here and read in this book and knit at the same time because it's it's kind of big uh, but it it works it really works uh, quite well so you can just have it here and put the phone on it and then do like this you can put the phone upside down and like turn off the vibrations and stuff so you don't hear it um, yeah and then you can just read it I think this is a kind of a good solution as well yeah uh, it's the second best <laughs> I would say okay so the the last one is this the big one the big fantasy book and this is maybe not the the easiest way to sit and read but you can you can do this as well and I often do this with my phone because I don't know it's the easiest way to I think I, I haven't found anything else that's like heavy and that doesn't slip because I have one of these Pela cases uh, and it's kind of you know rubbery so it it, uh, it doesn't slide away or anything it's really nice and and I can have it here um, so this takes I think this takes the longest time to read because you have to change and like prop it up often and stuff but it's uh, really fine I think I'm not yeah I would do it if it's a good book I would do it for the book you know that is my short tutorial on how I read and knit at the same time thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to the channel if you liked it I will see you next time with a new video bye